So this, ah, it's really nice to do a show barefoot and in a skirt. That doesn't happen for me very often. That's, yeah, thank you. I've coined this thing, I don't know if it's an existing thing, if there's a term for it, but like, you know crop dusting? The practice of crop dusting? <laughs> right? When you like, leave a trail of farts behind you, like a little mama duck. Yeah. Um, and so I was thinking, there's so many people on this cruise with dresses and or kilts, um, that there's this thing, I think it should be called hovercrafting. <laughs> where, like, you build up a fart reserve in your skirt type thing and use it as like a fart dispersal device. I, I don't know if there's a term for that, but I think we should, call, we should agree to call it hovercrafting. <laughs> Hashtag hovercrafting. <laughs> Sorry, that was a tangent. Um, this next song is not about that. It is kind of, though. It's about butts. <laughs> I wrote this song as part of Joseph Scrimshaw's Flaw Fest, and he has this amazing story about the way that he plays Goldeneye, the Ben 64, which is to say, instead of doing badass James Bond type spy stuff, he crouches, because in video games no one can hear you when you crouch. And rather than, like, you know, pistol whipping somebody or, you know, doing a cool James Bond thing, he karate chops people in the butt. <laughs> And because he's James Bond, it is a fatal karate chop to the butt of his butt. <laughs> and so he asked to various musician friends of his to write a song about whatever it was in his flaw fest that spoke to them. And for some reason, fatal karate chops to the buttock spoke to me the most. Um, so this song is about avoiding confrontation, and it is called Chop Chop. <laughs> and there is a sing-along part for you, I might add. That's Something, something, knows what was the sled And I'm like, chop, chop, in the spoilers mm -hmm, I'm gonna go, chop, chop, in the spoilers mm -hmm, nah, nah. It sounds like you picked up on that pretty quick Comes around a couple times, I think we got this I don't have a lot of sing-along choruses, so I'm very excited when I find one Alright, chop, chop I'm tasked with your assassination, but I don't like confrontation. I would much prefer a quiet hit and run. But at combat, I am cruddy, and stabbing gets too bloody, and it isn't sportsmanlike to use a gun. Swords are really not my style, poison capsules take a while, but the interaction's what I mostly dread. But when my hand is at the ready, and my arm is strong and steady, I you're dead. <laughs> and I'm like, chop, chop. And the bad guys hit the floor when I go, chop, chop. They won't be henching anymore. It doesn't look the best, but it moves me on my quest. Don't act like you're not impressed. You're under orders, and I get that, but I'm not so great at chit chat. It's not But it isn't what I'm used to And sexy spies are kind of a cliché I'm not troubled by the killing But I find I'm less than willing To avail myself of anybody's gains I'm not a brute, I'm not a terrorist I'm just easily embarrassed And gunfire only adds to my malaise So I go chop chop And the bad guys hit the ground when I go Yet your partner doesn't seem to notice that you took one for the team. <laughs> so I'm all chop chop. They can't see me when I squat. So I go chop chop. It might sound sexy, but it's not. There's no technique or grace. But I'm chopping your third base. I just don't want to look you in the face. Get your wrist into it now. Chop chop. Ah! Then I'm like. It's a job I can really get behind. <laughs> I'd like to 
let's take a moment to thank, for first off, the helper monkeys that are helping this thing run smoothly. This is a lot of people in a very weirdly shaped room, and they're doing a splendid job. Um, and also a shout out to the people in the Harry Potter seats over here. Hi, Laura. How's it going? Um, and everybody who doesn't have a reasonable line of sight to the stage. You're really good sports, and we appreciate it so very much. Um, and also the people with regular sight lines, but you, you know how much I love you. 